Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. Coast to coast, This Week in America. The sequel to the Emerald Book of Stories, the Sapphire Book of Stories, God's Promises by Ruby Klein, is a continuation of a spiritual journey of four teens who befriend a retired Sunday school teacher who keeps a very sacred book in her living room, The Secrets of the Ages, Basic Instructions Before Leaving Earth. The book is a portal into a heavenly realm, and if the stories in the sacred book aren't shared with others, the life-changing words will fade from the pages, and all of the wisdom and guidance within will be lost to the world and mankind forever. Ruby is a lifetime follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, a Christian author, a grandmother, who enjoys teaching the simple truths and wonders of God's Word. She's enjoyed teaching and helping with youth programs, founder of the Chain of Hearts Fellowship Group. She volunteered as a prayer pastor for over 10 years at a free health care facility. This series of books, the Gemstone Series, written for her grandchildren and created as an evangelizing, evangelizing tool for anyone who desires to share their personal testimonies and born-again experiences with others but simply don't know how. Ruby Klein, the author of the Sapphire Book of Stories, God's Promises, is our guest on This Week in America. Hi, Ruby. Welcome to the program. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Love what you've done with the the Gemstone series. We'll uh, feature both books on the program today, talking specifically about the Sapphire Book of Stories. That's a continuation. What was the inspiration for the Gemstone series? Where did this idea begin? Well, I was volunteering down at the Grace Clinic. It's a free health care facility. And there was some big burly guys just fresh out of prison. And they were coming in and saying, I don't understand the Bible and I need help. And I had this one young lady and she came in and she said, I need a children's Bible. She says, I really need a children's Bible. And I said, I, don't, I can't get you one right now, but I will get you one as soon as I can well, she was terminal, and I did not realize it, and she passed away the next day, oh, and it wow. broke my heart yes. because I wasn't ready. I was not prepared, and so I, I just came to the conclusion that I needed to do something about this problem, so I took the names of my family members, the middle names, and I came up with these stories, and I started with these four teenage kids that befriended a retired Sunday school teacher. And it, it has just developed over the, the past few years. We have just um, started from scratch, and this is what it has blossomed into by the grace of God. Well, this was certainly meant to be, and you're touching so many people, young people in particular, with the, the Gemstone series. Our guest is the author, Ruby Klein. That's K-L-E-I-N. Her website is rubykline.net. The book available, uh, the books available, Amazon, the usual places. Link on our website, thisweekinamerica.us, that will take you directly to Ruby's website. You can order the books there, get information there as well. When you start a book project, what type of questions do you ask yourself when, when planning a new book? There's so many different directions to go. You need that initial focus. What type of questions do you ask yourself? Where do you look for guidance in starting a new book? Well, I just think about the world today and what problems can I address in the Scripture that might help somebody. Um, the Word of God always makes life better. It, to me, yes, and I want to make sure that I share that with everybody else. And it's just a matter of finding the keys to the kingdom that's going to open the door for people when they need it at the right time when they need it. Well, you do a wonderful so, job of, of telling these stories and bringing people in and then sharing that message as you do that. I, I interrupted. I'm sorry. You were going to finish that thought about what goes into writing a book. What questions do you ask before you, maybe an outline before you sit down to write a book? Well, I really don't have much of an outline. I do my books as um, like a skeleton. I sit down and I think about what do I want to cover in that book? And so then I think about what what chapters, and I name my chapters first, and then I go through and I put the meat on that yes. that skeleton, and I build from the base up. And then 
at the very end, I go through and I put all the beautiful things on it, the garments, the spices, the wonderful things. And that's how I build my books. It's interesting. I know it's kind of strange. <laughs> well, no, it makes perfect sense. You, you're doing doing it sort of in layers, aren't you? Where you're starting with the foundation and then building out from there, and it, it's been very successful. When you started with the Emerald Book of Stories, did you know that was going to be the first? That was going to be the the initial book in a series, or did that sort of evolve as you were writing that story, realizing I got more stories to tell? Well, that was my foundational book. I wanted to let people know, you know, who is who in the Bible? Who is God? You know, who is Satan? I wanted to build these things. I wanted to know what, um, share what the armor of God is. The, what is the prayer of salvation? Just all kinds of little things. And I just wanted to build it as as a grandmother would teach her grandchildren. Yes. I just wanted to build the story. Well, they are little things you say, but so important and sometimes elusive. We're not, it, it seems so simple, but yet when we think it through, it's difficult. You, you make it uh, understandable for all of us. Uh, who is the book geared for? I, I mentioned you'd be young people, adolescents. Is, is that the target audience? And I say that because, boy, everybody can get something out of, out of the, uh, <laughs> the Gemstone series. Well, Technically, I was hoping to inspire young parents that wanted to raise their kids. I want to inspire uh, everyone teen and up, but I want everyone to be able to look at my books and to grasp what God is teaching them, a whole new world. I mean, the Bible just keeps on opening up to people. It's interactive no matter who you are and where you are and where you live. It doesn't matter. The Bible is interactive to everyone, and I wanted to share that with the world. Well, the book's available for everybody. The two books are available, the Sapphire Book of Stories and the initial book in, in the series, the Emerald Book of Stories, both available wherever books are sold. Ruby's website, rubykleen, K-L-E-I-N dot net. Link on by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. So you become a, a published author. What does your family think of, uh, of your writing and the success that you've had in, in now two books? What's, the, what's the, the, the actual reaction to the family been like? Well, my, my little granddaughter, the one that I, her middle name is Jaislyn, she said that it doesn't surprise her at all because she thinks that I'm the best storyteller in the world because I've been, I have been her caregiver ever since she was born. Her mom had to work. And I was the one that always took care of her. Well, I've been telling her stories all of her life, and she's said it's pretty awesome and pretty cool. <laughs> ah, that's neat. So that time you were spending and really enjoying with her is sort of, uh, again, laid the foundation for the storytelling that you do in, in the two books, the Emerald Book of Stories and the Sapphire Book of Stories, God's Promises, by Ruby Klein, our author on the program, what do you do when, you, when you're not writing? I assume it's everything, all of your experience in life uh, come to play when, you, when you're writing and when you're, you're working with, uh, with people and trying to guide them in the right direction and give them understanding of the Bible. What's life like when you're not sitting at a computer or, or typewriter or legal pad writing stories? Well, I love gardening. I love arts and crafts, and I love quilting. I'm just a grandma. I'm... I'm just a simple grandma, and I love broadleaf evergreens and exotic plants. So every year I put those in my garage and put grow lights in there to save them over for the winter. And I just love, I want to make a Garden of Eden. I just want to get back as close to the Bible as possible. Well, very well-rounded, and all of that makes uh, Ruby the, the excellent writer that she is. We talked about the two books. Uh, two books in the series, the Gemstone series. Uh, are you working on a third? Well, actually, my next book is at the publisher right now. Ah, fantastic. It, uh, the name of it is the Ruby Book of Stories, and it's about the Father's heart, the precious blood of Jesus, spiritual warfare, and prayer. And then it will be a toss-up between a book that tells about who we are in Christ and our inheritance as the family and the children of God, or one about worship, prayer, and more spiritual war warfare. 
So, so you, you've it's got... a toss-up. Which, whichever one comes first. And they're both very important, so you can't make a wrong choice there. No matter what you choose, that's going to be the uh, the right one. I mentioned before, who would, who's the target audience? And I'm reading the reviews, and it, you're touching so many people in so many different age groups. That's got to be rewarding for you because this book really is touching a broad spectrum from from young adults to young parents that you mentioned, and and even us older people can learn something by by reading in your books. That has to be rewarding to know you're touching so many people in a life changing way. Well, I I kind of got a kick out of it. There's been lots of people that have come to me and said, "You have caused me to study my Bible." And I think, well, good. <laughs> <laughs> if I have inspired you to study your Bible because they wanted to see if it was right or wrong, and I don't want anyone to take my word for anything. I want people to go and open up their Bibles. I want them to dig deep and study the Word of God for themselves. I want them to know, because when they know that they know that they know what is right and what uh, is wrong, yes. what the Word of God is, their souls will be saved, and that's my mission. I just, I'm just a grandma that wants to save souls. That's all. And once they go through that process, their life does change, doesn't it? It gives it a whole different meaning, and maybe puts a smile on their face where uh, maybe there wouldn't have been one, uh, you know, that's, that's uh, on a right. particular day. You know, there's more than one way to raise the dead, and when I say that, if your life is empty and you find life. Through the word of God, the dead in you has been raised. We'll let that sink in for a second. Uh, the words of Ruby Klein. Ruby is the author of the Gemstone series. The two books available now on her website. Uh, as the new books come out, you can follow. It's always good to uh, to have the author's website. You can check what's uh, what's coming from them. Ruby Klein, K-L-E-I-N, website. Very simple. Her name, dot net, rubykline.net. How long does it take you to write a book? When you have the the initial concept, you start the uh, the skeleton, you get up to uh, to to putting the uh, dressing it, putting the uh, the outer layer of clothes on. How long does it take in this process to to write the book from start to finish? It's been taking me about a year for each book because there's a lot of Bible study that goes into it, and then general life. I'm constantly busy. I go to the gym and. I spend time with my family and my friends, and I put people first. I think that's very important. I know that when you take care of God's business, God always takes care of your business. Well, and that's so important. And you mentioned being being well rounded, and I we talked about that with interest outside of writing. What's your schedule when you like, when you write, when you set aside that time that, okay, it's now, do you have a set time or do you just do it when you feel uh, uh, spoken to, to sit and, uh, and continue the story? Well, it's basically, most of the time, it's when God tells me I need to sit down and write. And he will just, he'll bring people into my life and it will open doors and I'll say, oh, hey, that's great for the stories. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's life experiences, it, general life experiences. And I'm usually, like I say, I'm usually busy all the time. I'm on the go to the gym and spending time with friends and family, uh, gardening chores, studying the Word of God. But when the Lord sets, He'll speak to your heart and sets the Word, He'll put a seed in your heart. You know it's growing. You know you have to put it down on paper. You have no choice. It's it's not an option. You just, I can't explain it, but it's the Word of God, and it comes, and you know that you know that it's a word for somebody. And it would be a sin for me if I didn't listen to the Word of God and write that word, because somebody's ear is going to hear it one day, and it's going to make a difference in somebody's life. So when it's I time truly, to write, you get it like a tap on the shoulder, don't you? When it's time to write, yeah. you know that, okay, now is the time to, to take this thought and to express it. Yes, absolutely. And it's interesting you mentioned, again, I, I use well-rounded. You have so much going on in your life. All of that makes you who you are and a better writer, doesn't it? Well, I think it does. I think that the Lord has, um, he has purposes for everyone, 
and I think I was brought into the world for such a time as this. I, I'm just writing books that I needed when I was younger, but I didn't have. Uh, I couldn't yes. find the books that I needed. So what is the first thing I decided to do? If you need something, you're going to have to write it your own self because it's not there. <laughs> Well, yeah, there. how nice would it have been for people in, in our age group to have something like this because there wasn't anything like what uh, what Ruby has done with the, the Gemstone series. The Emerald Book of Stories, was that the first book? Yes. How long did it take you to write that? Oh, it, it took a good year. It took a, a, at least a year. It's interesting that it, it took a year once you got started. How long did it take you? What kind of uh, shove did you need to get started on that first book? So often people think about, yeah, I would like to do that, but they don't take that first step to get started. You did. How long did it take you to, to really get going? And what was how challenging was that from the time you thought, I'm going to do it, to where you actually began the project? Well, I am going to share a secret with you. I woke up on a Saturday morning, and I don't know if it was a dream or if it was an encounter, but the Holy Spirit came to me, and I was on a park bench, and he sat down, and he said, Ruby, what are you doing with your life? What are you going to do with your life? And I told the Holy Spirit, I said, I'm clueless. I said, everything I thought was going to work out didn't. I don't know. I've, I've had many arts and crafts and all kinds of talents that I thought would work out and didn't. And I said, I'm absolutely clueless. And the Holy Spirit right there in that dream that morning gave me an outline and said, you're going to write books. And he told me the names of the books and he told me everything that was going to be in the books. And it's, I started that day. I said, this is what the Lord wants me to do. And I started immediately and I started studying scripture and I had it in my heart of what I had went through with, at Grace Clinic and the people that need this kind of information, but they need it in a story way. I have a philosophy that I want to change the world one story at a time. I want to light a candle in somebody's darkness. I want to make a difference. I want to leave a spiritual legacy. That's what my mission is, and that's what I've worked hard to do. Well, you're doing that and accomplishing that, and it's amazing because of that you started right away in writing that book, The Emerald Book of Stories, now The Sapphire Book of Stories, God's Promises, by Ruby Klein, our guest uh, on the program, the author of the Gemstone series. Her website is rubykline.net. And it's amazing, and you're so right. It's one thing to to try maybe to relate through Scripture and go read this and, and figure it out for yourself. You really break this down where we where we understand it. It's so much easier in a story form to to actually understand the message that you are trying to present. What advice would you have out there for other Christian writers attempting to to maybe take messages that they've struggled with for years or they were not able to find answers at a, at an early age and now want to want to write about? What advice for other Christian writers? I think mostly it would be steady, steady, steady the Word of God. You can't get enough Bible study in you. I seriously believe that. And um, I have some scriptures that have meant a world to me, and one of them is Habakkuk 2, 2 and 3 in the ESV. It says, write the vision and make it plain on tablets, so that he may run who reads it. For still the vision awaits at its appointed time. It hastens to the end. It will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. And so that was one of my first scriptures that I, I really fell in love with. And the next one is Deuteronomy 6, 6 to 9 in the ESV. It says, And these words I, that I command you today shall be on your heart. They shall, you shall teach them diligently to your children, shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. And you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on your door and on your gates. So 
The Lord wants us to share our stories. He wants us to share the Bible. He wants us to light a candle for someone's darkness. Would and you... I truly believe with all my heart that the Lord wants us to save a life, one story at a time. Well, you are doing that. I the book is the books are so impressive. The gemstone series. I'm going to take thirty seconds here at the end. I mentioned in the beginning you using this created as a evangelizing tool. Mentioning that people, so many people want to share their testimonies, born again, but they really don't know how. This this series really helps us, doesn't it? This is sort of getting us over maybe that initial hurdle that uh, that we've been reluctant to cross before. Yes, I, I just live my life as what if. What if I could make a difference? What if I could save a life? What if? It's, lots of people are afraid to try, but just think about what if. What if I, what if? There's all kinds of what ifs, and let's try together. And I hope that I encourage more Christian writers to make a difference in somebody's life share the word of God, share their testimonies, their experiences, and just sit back and watch miracles happen. That would make me ecstatic. Well, you're an inspiration to all those that uh, want to follow, that want to do what you were doing in reaching out there. And you've done this again so well. The Gemstone series, the first book, the the Emerald Book of Stories, followed by the sequel, the Sapphire Book of Stories, God's Promises, by Ruby Klein, K-L-E-I-N. Her website is rubyklein.net, book available wherever books are sold. My thanks to parchmentglobalpublishing.com for arranging our conversation with uh, Ruby today. Ruby, it's been a pleasure to have you on the program. Congratulations on the success of the uh, Gemstone series. Anxious to find out what you're doing in the new books, and hopefully we'll have a chance to talk about those as well. Thank you for being with us on the program. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. It's been our pleasure. Once again, the book is the Sapphire Book of Stories, God's Promises. That's the newest one. A follow-up to the Emerald Book of Stories by Ruby Klein, K-L-E-I-N. Her website, rubykline.net. Of course, information on our website. You're listening to This Week in America, and we're back right after these messages. You're listening to This Week in America with Rick Bratton. More after this.